Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be creating this uh, orbit effect so let me show you uh, so this is what we're going to be uh, creating today uh, and uh, this is going to be using uh, geometry effect uh, and we can apply uh, some uh, geometry effect uh, create some geometry effect for the orbit and then create a whole bunch of uh, nodes uh, or circles uh, that are going to rotate around okay so that that's what we're gonna do and uh, and uh, if you see like you know uh, these are uh, concentric circles and uh, they are rotating at different speeds uh, so yeah so this is gonna be uh, the video and uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, geometry effect okay so let's go ahead and get started so first thing uh, let's create our effect so uh, we're gonna call this orbit effect geometry effect and uh, let's give it initial angle a variable all right and then we're gonna give percent that we're gonna use inside our calculation A radius we're gonna create animatable data so we can animate our properties and we're gonna tell which property we're gonna animate and that is going to be um, your percent Okay, now it's time to create our effect value. Okay, here first thing we're going to do is uh, calculate the angle. And uh, let's calculate angle by multiplying 2 times pi and percent plus initial initial angle. There you go. Okay, then we're gonna uh, compute the point, uh, and point is going to be CG point, uh, and uh, for the XY location, uh, it's gonna be cos of angle times radius and uh, sine of angle. times radius okay and then we're going to return the projection cg affine transform translation so we're going to trans apply translation with on point dot x and point dot y okay and that is going to be Okay, yeah, percent is needs to be R. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and, and create a couple of functions to get some um, helper uh, stuff. So first we're gonna create get random uh, color. And here we're gonna return color And uh, going to replicate the same thing for green and for blue. This is going to give us random color. And uh, let's go ahead and um, create make orbit effect. Okay. And we're going to get diameter. And we're going to return sum geometry effect and here we're going to simply return orbit effect and uh, percent is going to be self dot there's an animation flag that we need to create 
and if it's true then we're gonna return zero otherwise sorry one otherwise zero like so and the radius is gonna be diameter divided by two okay let's go ahead and uh, create this uh, this flag uh, we can create a few flags but let's go ahead and create this one first right war animation is equal to animation dot linear first of all repeat forever okay and let's create add state private var animation flag and initially it's going to be false there we go okay um let's create while we are here let's create a few more properties um, so at state private var it's going to be offset for a variable c float is equal to zero and i'm going to copy this and paste it and create b all right and um, we're also going to create another one this one is going to be called rotation degree and it's going to be a value double double with 90 to start off okay now um, what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and uh, create a function to make our circles so function make circle and this one is going to return some view okay and this one is going to return a z stack with circle first of all we're gonna stroke with uh, color dot gray and gonna give it a frame and then create another circle that's gonna have fill with foreground color um, get random color um, frame okay let me uh, do this okay and there's a line and let's do like that okay and a new line so we can create our frame frame with with height and alignment width is going to be 10 height is going to be 10 this is the size of circle I mean this uh, uh, this rotating object um, or you can call it a planet if you want to <laughs> um, yeah it looks like a planet <laughs> okay so uh, let's say X is offset B and Y is zero. Okay, we can apply our modifier. And we can apply our animation. And this animation is gonna be animation dot linear uh, with duration about two seconds and uh, we are going to say repeat forever with auto reverse is equal to false all right so it's going to make our circle now with these helper methods uh we it's, it's actually easy to do the stuff in the body because all we need to do is apply a for each um on an array of elements that are going to be 5 10 15 
20, 25 ID is going to be self. All right. And uh, I'm going to simply say self.make circle. And we're going to supply the dimension in CG float i times 10 okay and uh, we need one circle that they're gonna rotate around so this is gonna be that circle circle dot fill dot foreground color is equal to color dot orange and uh, you can make this one a little bit bigger if you want um, with 15 maybe height 15 and uh, you know, say alignment is going to be center. Okay, let's go ahead and try to run this and see. Okay, IDX. Okay, all the errors are gone. Let me see what we've got. There we go. Okay, so we have our planets and they are not moving. Why are they not moving? Because we forgot to put on appear here and to toggle the animation flag. Awesome. So let's go ahead and try this out and hopefully our planets will start to move. There we go. Yeah, some of them are, um, are aligned and uh, they are moving. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, I mean, that's the effect uh, that I was looking for, uh, ma mainly on the uh, on the orbit uh, effect. So uh, go ahead and, and give it a try. And uh, like uh, with this example, like you, you can see how you can rotate around a center or certain object. So this could be like, you know, useful if you're trying to create uh, a watch face or something like that. Uh, that'll actually uh, kind of like, you know. Uh, be a similar idea okay so yeah so this is it for this video and uh thanks again for watching hit that subscribe button and like button and uh, uh stay tuned for uh, more videos like these thank you